Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Central Oregon Shenanigans. Today, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're tuning in for the first time, hit that subscribe. Well, think about it anyway. And comments, you know, they go down below. Today, it looks like I'm in a limo, but I'm actually in a conversion van. Yeah. Found by this guy. Hello. <laughs> So Kyle's got a quarter of a mile on our new purchase. I spent his money without him even <laughs> even looking at this thing. I, I have found out that it's better and easier just to trust you on your decisions. Yeah. And let whatever happens. <laughs> let me move to the front seat, guys. So, we are going on vacation. And I don't like flying. I don't think he likes flying commercially either. <laughs> Not, not the whole COVID age. So, we bought a conversion van. This is a 1997 Econoline 150, or E150, not an F150, E150 van. Under 200,000 miles on it. Two owner. I thought it was a one owner. So, two owner van. The old man that owned this van owned it since it was pretty much almost new. I don't know the company that converted this van yet. I haven't figured that one out. Really nice conversion though. We're looking at, we got the kids seat in here, we're going to get the kids. Uh, two captain's chairs that match these two captain's chairs plus a bench that makes it into a bed, making it the... Shaggin' Wagon Stabbing Cabin something. So, we're gonna have 12 to 13 hours of driving time and luxury, like a limo, this is like a limousine in here. Yeah, so, it's, it's a limo where I can talk to my passengers without them rolling the window up blocking me in. Right. So, uh, we'll go, uh, we'll get on the outside of the van and show you guys when we get back to the house there. We might have to pull it in the shop because that's, oh, I did, didn't catch it. It was one of those big lifted Quigleys. Uh, we're heading out to Papa's house, going to grab the kids, and then we're coming back to show you guys around. It is powered by a 4.6 liter Triton V8. Same as my, I've got two other vans as well, two Econ lines for my, my work. This one doesn't, this one makes those vans look crappy because it drives so nice <laughs> but so yeah uh four six triton and it's got the towing package on this one so it's got the bigger upgraded 4r100 transmission i uh, do not know the gear ratio we can go over that at the house but i did get coming over the pass doing 75 80 miles an hour yesterday i filled up in portland oregon got to madras oregon and that little jaunt which was like 95 miles i got 16.2 something did I tell you 16.2 was over 16 miles a little over 16 miles a gallon so we'll call it 16 so not much wrong with this there's one problem that I've I've found on it so far because it's been sitting for a while and I can smell it right now too mm -hmm. but easy fix I found the new part 120 to 20 125 dollar fix do we have to take the fan clutch fan off to get the radiator out of this I don't know in these ones so I haven't never done a radiator on it me neither, so it's going to be a learning experience for all of us. We'll catch you back at the house, guys. Alrighty, guys, it's a couple days later. Wind has been really bad lately. So here's our 97 uh, conversion van from the outside. It does need a bath. It needs a wax. It's not 100% perfect, but for what we're going to use it for, it doesn't look bad. Going to have to order some new headlights before we go, and I want to put a light bar on this just for being out on the desert driving at nighttime. Get a light bar or something mounted in there, or something just to have some extra light for our trip. I'm digging the grandpa steps. It's got a dent right there. It's only a dent in the whole van. It should pop out actually. I think I'll be able to get that out. Um, a little bit of mildew from being over in the valley. It's going to need a good washing, good waxing. Nice straight bumper, tow package. This one's got the tow package on it. Uh, none of my other, I think out of the three, of I own three of these. So out of all three of these, uh, only two of them have tow packages. And when you have a tow package, on a half ton, they give you the 4R100 transmission. If you don't have a tow package, like my other van that's sitting over there, it, uh, it's it got a 5.4 with a uh, 4R70W, which is the smaller transmission. Inside is super luxurious. Luxurious. 
I'm guessing that's the company that did the conversion. Uh, Kyle's already got a panel open in here, and uh, we're going to wire in some. It doesn't have any charging ports because, you know, it was made in the 90s before really cell phones were popular. Uh, we want some charging ports back here um, for cell phones. Super, uh, super comfy seats. And the front two seats have seat covers on them, but they're pretty clean. Uh, then they're the same seat. So you got four of the same buckets. Back here, cup holders. You know, some trim work. Nice LED lights. This makes down into a bed. And in the back, you got cargo. Cargo area. Which I've got my tool kit back here right now. Unlock and lock button. In all, it's a, it was a really, really good purchase for um, what we're going to do with it. And I don't know what... <laughs> What we're gonna do with it down the road uh we're gonna do some videos on uh the van life i guess uh so with that being said guys i hope everybody's doing well i'm feeling a little bit better I'm not a hundred percent but uh, we're getting there so uh with that being said hit that like hit that subscribe and we'll see you in the next video it's gonna be a van video no actually i got a i got a copperhead video that needs to go out and then i'm gonna have another van video because this van is going to need a radiator, and I picked that up yesterday, so that'll be a different video. So, see you here, guys.